I'm going to review changing the default font size in PHP My Admin through MAMP. And I just opened my start page through MAMP. And I'm working on a Mac right now, and I just wanted to show you this. When I launch PHP My Admin, I'll do that by going here once the start page is opened. And this will open PHP My Admin. And remember, just like in Windows, you could change it from original look to the PMA HOM, which looks better. And I also put the font at 92% for everything looks a little bit better. But one thing that I am going to look at here is when I go to SQL, we're going to be typing code in here. We're going to be running queries in here. We're going to type it in there. And they start off with something like select. And you can choose little little hints that come up. And, and you might say where. You know, we're going to write code like that. But anyway, look how nice and big this looks. This is nice, and it's very easy for me to write code in here. By default, it's super tiny. And it'll be super tiny on Windows and a Mac. Now, I already changed this. So if you want it to look like this before you even start doing anything, I'll just show you where to do that. And where and I already did it. So on a Mac, if I go into my applications and I look for MAMP, and I go into my bin folder, and I go into PHP my admin, and I'm gonna look for something called themes. Here's themes. And then I'm gonna go into my PMA HOM folder. And then I'm going to go into my CSS. See, this isn't easy. And then I'm also going to open up a file called codemirror.css.php. I'm going to open this in brackets by right-clicking and saying open with brackets. And here's the file. And you might not know where to, where to go in here. But where you're going to go is the very bottom of this file, codemirror.css.php. You're going to go to the very bottom. This whole thing here. You're going to put in here, and I'm going to give you the code that you can copy and paste in here. And that's only for the Mac, because I showed you what to do on the one, I'll, or I will show you what to do on the Windows version, because you just have to make one little change. But on the Mac, you just have to put this little blurb of code. So I'm just, I just included all these comments. These are just comments here. So if you paste this, this whole thing, and I even have all the little notes in here, you're going to paste this at the bottom of this file when you're in brackets on a Mac. Only for the Mac, the Windows fix is a little different. And when you do that, I put font size 2M. 2EM, that's basically 200%. If you don't want it that big, you could put 1.5. That would be 150. But the default size is going to be way too small. So 2M is, is, is fine for me. You could go 1.7, 1.8, anything in between that you want. And then when you're done, you just close up that file and you save it. That's all you have to do. And I'll give you instruction, written instructions as well. But I just want to show you how to do that so that when we start putting code in here for our queries, our SQL queries, you won't be dealing with really tiny type because, you know, it's hard enough working in here without dealing with that. So I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to show you about Windows as well. Okay, in Windows, when you launch PHP My Admin, you'll do it by starting the servers, and then you're going to open the start page, and this is on Windows. When you open your start page, you're going to click on PHP My Admin. And one of the first things you'll do is change the theme from original to P PMA HOM. It'll just look nicer. And you also may want to change the font size to 92%. Now, one thing that's going to happen when you go in here, and before we do anything, it's probably good to take care of this. When we actually, and I don't even have a database in here yet, but I'll just click on one of these default sets that are in here. When you go to SQL, this is where we're going to be doing some queries. Now, when you start typing queries, like you're going to type like select, and you're going to click on select, and then you're going to put an asterisk, and then something else. Look how tiny that is. It's super tiny, and it's going to drive you crazy, especially if you're a little bit older like me. It's very hard to see. And to change this takes a little bit of work, but it's going to drive you crazy if you have to type with that little bit of type in there, because we are going to be doing some SQL language in here so we're going to need to change that and I'll show you how to do that so let me do that right now now it, it involves going into your MAMP folder and digging through a couple files and let me just show you where that is I'm gonna to go to my C drive first I'll go to my local disk that's where I have MAMP I'm gonna go into my MAMP folder and then I'm gonna go into my bin folder and I'm gonna look for PHP my admin 
and inside there I'm going to look for, and I will give you instructions too, but in here I'm going to go into themes and then I'm going to go into PMA HOM and then I'm going to go into CSS and I'm going to open this file called codemirror.css.php and I can just right click on it and I'll open it in brackets. You need to open it in a code editor. You can't just double click on it or it may not open up. So make sure you open it in brackets or code editor. And when it opens up in here, what you want to do, you could kind of scroll down or you could search, but I'm just going to scroll down because it's, I think it's kind of near the middle. It's not a huge file, but you're going to look for something called code mirror pre. And what you can also do, another thing you could do on Windows, if you do control F, you can do control F, you could do a little search and you're going to search for font size and it actually came right to the one I want to change. It's actually, you can see it's about halfway down this page. It's under code.codemirrorpre. This is where it is. And it has font size inherit. And I just want to change this. And I'm going to put it like 2M. And that's basically like 200%. So I'm going to make it 2M, which is about 200% for me. If you don't want it that big, you could make it 1.5M. If you want it bigger, you can make it 3M, but 2M should be should be big enough for what we're doing. So that's all you have to do is just change that inherit. And if you want, you could even put a little comma in here with CSS. Um, I could just put a slash, you know, and, and space that out so you see it or something like that. And and that's all you have to do. And then you can just close this and save it. Now when I go back to MAMP, I'll open my start page again. Now it opened a second one, so I'll close the first one. And I'll open up PHP my admin, and I'll just see if it changes, because sometimes you need to refresh it, but I'm just gonna click in here, and I'm gonna go to SQL, and I'm just gonna just type a little bit. And look how nice that looks now. That's, and I could type select, and you know choose it when it comes up. And look how nice that looks compared to what it looked like before. So that's that's one thing we do to make life a little bit easier when you're typing some code in here. We won't be typing a lot of code. We won't be typing CSS files and things like that. But we will be typing a couple lines of type in here. So we don't want it too small. Another thing you can change, and you know this is this is up to you. But if you don't like the font that it uses, if if you don't like the courier that it uses, you could always go into your. I'm in. I guess I'm in Firefox right now, but you could always go into your your options for your browser, go and change where your, how it looks. I think it's under content. You could go under fonts and you might have to go advanced. And what you would change is the monospace font. I changed it from uh, courier, new courier to being consolas. That actually looks nice. So, so I put that in as my monospace font because that's what it chooses from the style sheet. So that's another thing you could change, but that's through your browser. The important thing is you don't want to be doing code with a really small font. So that changes that. And there is a different method for the Mac. And I'll show you the different method for the Mac. And of course, for Mac, it's, it's easier. Just wanted to show you that whether you're working on, this is the Windows version. And I'll also show you the Mac version.